As many students prepare to log on to get back to school, there are some districts still starting the traditional way. CBS 2's Jermont Terry shows us it isn't clear how long those districts will keep their doors open. It's the start of a new school year, Bradley Bourbonnet High School. For the first time in my 17 years as a superintendent, I don't know what the first day is going to look and feel like. Superintendent Scott Wakeley tells us signs informing students to cover their faces will greet them first. I never thought the most important thing that we have uh, isn't the technology, it's these, these very thin masks that we have to wear that's going to keep us all safe. Then security guards will check temperatures of everyone entering the building. And I'm not going to say that this is going to be without its challenge. Bradley Bourbonnet expects to welcome 500 freshmen to walk the halls on Wednesday morning. Then on altering days, the rest of the student body will return. We usually have 2,000 kids, which makes the hallways very crowded. Uh, we'll probably have only 800 students um, at any one time. Besides shifting the crowds to certain sides of the hallways, the district believes it's taking extra precautions. The school's cafeteria will be used for larger classroom spaces. In regular rooms, plexiglass surrounds each teacher's desk. I'll say as an administrator and, and for our staff, um, it's a challenge and, and it's, a, it's something that we can say for our community, um, we're willing to give it a try. It's a big attempt considering other districts are now opting for full remote learning, a last minute shift, especially after tighter restrictions imposed by the Illinois Department of Public Health. Our schools were not um, built for a pandemic. Under the new state guidelines, if a student or staff member have a sore throat, fever, or other symptoms similar to COVID-19, the district must treat it as a positive case. That prompted many districts to hold off on entering the building, but not Bradley Bourbonnet. We're willing to give it a try, and we're going to see how it goes. If we think at any time that this is not um, going to be a safe environment for the long term, then we have to be able to pivot. In Bourbonnet, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News.